Disney Cruise Lines have just released their new itineraries for 2017 and that along with the release of Captain America Civil War which I know Glenn can't wait to go to got me tickets already <laughs> for that reason we thought we'd do a Disney Cruises special so keep watching So welcome to episode 10 of Planet Cruise Weekly with me, Keith, and of course, Mr. Glenn Wallace. How are you? I'm very well. Glenn, I'm so excited because I know that ever since you were a small boy, you've wanted to be a Disney princess. <laughs> and this is our Disney special, and therefore you have to wear your crown. Not that silly crown yeah, again. I wore that the other week. People have been asking for it. No one's asked for Loads it. Loads of people said they want to see you wear <laughs> Not it. Not one person you? has asked me to wear this silly crown again. Except for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. About you. Anyway, it is a Disney special. Again, main reason being that Disney Cruise Lines just announced their 2017 itineraries. There's some fantastic places you can go in the wonderful luxury of Disney Cruise Lines. And if you want to find out more, then click the link just there. And along with that wonderful announcement about the itineraries, of course, that in the cinemas, it's just hit it's Captain America Civil War. So, Disney Cruise Lines, probably the best choice if you want to take your family yeah. away on a cruise um, and you want it to be family orientated but also give you the opportunity to have exactly. some time as an adult in these dedicated adult only areas that Disney offer. I think, it, I think it takes it to the next level. I think a lot of families, their, their bucket list is to go over to Orlando or go over to Disney World, Disneyland or even Disneyland Paris. And obviously they've now got the Disney cruises. So we find a lot of people that have already done the parks then want to then go and see one of the cruises and immerse themselves in the, in the Disney product. Absolutely. Uh, when I was fortunate enough to go down on, on the Disney Magic uh, last year, and it is a phenomenal ship, they're stunning, but they are geared for the Disney product. But as I said, there are adult only areas as well. So when the kids are being looked after, the, the adults can go and enjoy it's, it's more than possible, we should say this right at the outset, because this is a big misconception with Disney Cruise Lines. It's very possible to actually go on a Disney ship and not really you know, see the, the Disney characters, to have a completely separate experience in just a very elegant uh, environment. Because what they do do is they bring family-friendly and elegant cruising um, together. They don't, they're not mutually exclusive anymore. So they're very, very good at doing that. And then also as well with the characters, don't they? They, they? they are in one set place. So if you want to go and see the characters, you actually make the way there. So they're not walking around the ship. It's not in your face the whole time. So, you know, you have that Disney experience, but if you do want a bit of a break from it, you can. Absolutely. Now, uh, very excitingly, if you do love Disney, uh, then there is so much to do. And if you have got a family like myself, there's so much to do. So they have, the, for the kids, obviously, uh, right away from the age of three uh, up to 12, that's the main kind of uh, kids area and then also do stuff for teens, which is completely separate. But obviously between three and 12, you've got something called the Marvel Avengers Academy, uh, where you can go and experience uh, and meet Captain America. Uh, they do on all of the ships, Andy's room as well, which is styled around yeah. and Andy's room from Toy the Story. Toy Story yeah. And you've got all the great characters that you love. And they've also got on one of the ships, or two of the ships actually, the Star Wars Millennium Fal Falcon. Because obviously Disney purchased the rights for Star Wars now, so Absolutely. obviously they, they've got that. I mean, when I went onto the ships, I mean, I knew the kids' clubs were going to be good, but imagine a child's ultimate uh, room that they want to play in. Aww. They're phenomenal, they're huge in size. And themed activities. So one of the great things I know we do is the Toy Story Boot Camp, where Corporal Green and his Green Soldiers, they give you this kind of like, uh, you know, kind of initiation ceremony into being a, a toy Green Soldier. Uh, and then beyond that, of course, beyond all the stuff you've got for the children, um, you've also got loads of great Disney shows, you've got amazing get parties, they have firework displays, uh, they have first runs of Disney movies. Interestingly enough, we mentioned this before, adult-only areas. So the spa, yeah. a place there where you can go and get loads of great adult-only spa treatments and enjoy a completely kid-free experience. And great bars, there's a great bar on board all the ships called Keys, yeah. which is a piano bar Beautiful. with live piano music. Really amazing piano Beautifully person. set out. And also um, Palo, which is a North Italian restaurant Restaurant. and again beautiful and adult only um, and with speaking about dining obviously Disney offers something which is completely unique in the industry rotational dining so you have three themed restaurants and you rotate with your servers with your waiters around so every night you spend a different night so one of the my favorite ones is French American the dining. most amazing dining experience I've ever seen where yeah. obviously it's all black and white isn't it as you walk in all your waiters are dressed in black and white the plates are black and white and they have all the cartoon footage around doesn't it and as the meal progresses um, the pictures start to get coloured in, your waiters will start to wear a little bit more colour, even your plates and your food become more and more colourful and by the actual end of the dining experience the whole room is obviously covered and it is an experience you've never been So in a sense your dining becomes a dining experience not just because of the great food but also because of what's happening around you. And then we go for other things like uh, they introduced the aqueduct which is the first ever 
incredible water coaster. Spans four decks, goes 13 foot off the ship, it's incredible. And then we get to cabins, of course, really importantly, um, they do do family cabins that hold up to six people, but all their cabins are roomier than average, okay, and will easily take and hold four people, four people easily, which yeah. is great because you are going with the family, it's, it's a really good option. What, um, what I think you find with Disney as well, they, they don't seem to have a budget. You know, they want to give the, the clients, the families, the experience, it's all state of the art, and as I said, they, they don't seem to have any scrimping and saving or anything. What I will say to you, and you will see when we're, we're talking about a couple of deals later on, mm. the prices for Disney obviously reflect the product that we're selling, but you're paying for that experience of going to Disney, seeing the characters, and obviously, you know, it's the ultimate experience for a family really at sea. And finally, they have a thing called a bath and a half, which is where you have your, your bathroom, would be maybe a shower or your bath, um, and they have a separate toilet. So this is in the cabins as well. So a lot of the cabins will have that bath and a half option. Yeah, they're catered for families, aren't they? It's they're fully catered. Really, really well. But of course, you can go on for a for your honeymoon, many people do, or you can go on a solo cruiser and have a completely, almost Disney-free experience in a very elegant surroundings. Now, very quickly, before we move on, because we do have two great deals coming up on board Disney Magic. We do, yeah. So amazing opportunities to get Disney without having to fly out to Orlando. That's coming up. Uh, very, very shortly. I want one more thing from you, Glenn. Yep. Uh, and that is, which Disney character are you and why? Uh, Han Solo. Disney! He's a Disney character now. He's a Disney character. Doesn't have to be drawn. He is a Disney character. He's a bit older, a bit wiser. <laughs> yeah, that makes me Chewbacca. We'll see you after this. Thank you. So as it's a Disney theme, we have two great Disney cruises on board Disney Magic. And funnily enough, Disney Magic is one of four ships at the moment, but um, very recently, and very excitingly, Disney also announced that they're creating and building two more. in Maya Wolf, which is one of the German ships. Oh, two more? Yeah, two, two more ships. Two more ships. Is yeah. it 2021 and 2023? Yeah. It seems yeah. a long way away, but again, you know, they build these ships, they have to plan it and stuff like that. So they're adding 50% to their fleet and can take it to six. I know, this is incredible. And the, what we thought, because what always happens whenever Disney launches a new ship is there's a massive kind of bum fight as to what are they going to name it, what are they going to call it. So we thought we'd join in on Planet Cruise Weekly and we're going to run our very own little competition with you. So we'd like you to tell us, if you were to name a Disney ship, what would you call it? So the Disney something. So it has a Disney in there, but Disney something. Be whatever you want. Um, we're going to announce the winner on next week's in show. 2023. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, it will be next week's show. It might feel like 2023, but it will be next week's show. And um, with that, of course, uh, we, we, you know, we just encourage you to comment below with what you think it is, or contact us on Twitter, or on our Facebook, or say on the YouTube below, however you want to do it, but let us know. And the, and the goodie bag with Disney-themed goodies will be sent to the winner. Now, Disney Magic is where we're going next. Yeah. Um, this is a wonderful seven-night summer Mediterranean cruise from Dover through to Barcelona. Uh, with Disney Cruise Lines. It goes out on the... It goes out on the 21st of July 2017, so it's the start of the school holidays. Seven night chance to experience Disney in all its glory. Uh, as I said, sailing out of Dover and then flying back from Barcelona at the end of the cruise there for you. Inside cabins are starting at 1659 per person. You can upgrade for about £140 to the ocean view. Or for a family of four is 5499 in total. That includes your cruise, your transfers and your flights back home as well. Which actually is really competitive if you try and price it up to go maybe over to Orlando to do seven nights over there. Um, or of course if you're going over to Paris, it's a really, really competitive price. But you're getting the idea of just unpacking once and visiting multiple destinations. Itinerary wise, you are sailing from Dover, uh, your first port of call. You're just hopping over the channel uh, to the Havre, which is a wonderful option there to head into Paris. When you're in Paris, they do some tours where you can just do Paris on your own. The one that's got like a city tour and the boat trip as well with lunch on as well. That's so if, you want, yeah. if you've not been to Paris before and you want to experience it in a day, and maybe then you think about going back in the future, again, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, and if you don't want to do that, you've got DD beaches nearby as well and on floor, so loads to do. Then two days at sea. This, this is, is where amazing. you're going to start experiencing the ship. Well, this is it. it. I mean, we've already talked about it, so we won't divulge apart from to say these two sea days, <laughs> you're going to have so much fun, almost more fun than going to these amazing ports of cool because there's so much to do, whatever age you are. Then you're going to go to your next port, which is Lisbon, of course, the capital of Portugal. You're sailing through the Tagus River, incredible arrival. You've got all the, uh, the wonderful trams to help you get around and explore this incredible maritime city. Then you you hit Cadiz, which is your gateway through to? Gateway into Seville. Incredible. Uh, the Alhambra Palace, and you've got the, the wonderful orange and lemon blossom uh, city and boulevards to walk down. So after Cadiz, you then got a sea day.
day before you then uh, finish off in Barcelona. And of course, because what we'd love to do at Planet Cruise is give you bespoke holiday options, if you wanted to add on a stay in Barcelona, we could do that for yeah, you. Yeah, we can do that for you. You might want to do two or three days in Las Ramblas or somewhere like that, good beaches as well. So, you know, it's a seven day, you might want to turn it into a 10, 11, 12 mm. day package, and we can do that for you as well. So uh, this is with Disney Cruise Lines on board with Disney Magic and it's seven nights summer Mediterranean over to Barcelona. Now, if you want to find out more, click here and we can give you uh, more information about it. And don't forget as well um, that if you are going to book this, quote YouTube 25, which will give you an extra 25 pounds off the prices you're seeing on screen at the moment. Now, we want to say thank you to all these wonderful people that have commented at last week's show. Karen Robinson, who loved the sound of the Oceana Serena, or the Mermaid as we call her. So thank you, Karen. Uh, also to uh, Andrew Jarvis, one of our most regular uh, commenters, and also Mary Beaton. Thank you so much for your lovely comments about how you enjoyed the, the whole Planet Cruise booking experience. I've got to say as well, on the Point Bridge Rule, because it's a Disney magic ship, uh, another real good reason sailing with Disney is that each Disney ship actually has four captains. Oh really? Just the one, four captains. Yeah. You've got the ship's captain, then you've also got uh, Captain Hook, Captain Jack Sparrow, and Captain Mickey. Four captains. Yeah, I don't know if I want Mickey uh, staying in the ship, but there you go. Don't go anywhere. And now it's time for the second of our themed cruises today. Again, it's on Disney Magic. Uh, it's a 12-night British Isle cruise from Dover, which is fantastic, an opportunity to visit your own country. You know, we spend thousands of pounds jet-setting all over the world, and very often we don't visit. I, I used to do the British Isles cruises, and I never thought I'd enjoy them. Do you know, they're some of the best, because they're, they're places great, you don't they? normally go to, you maybe haven't visited before, um, and as I said, they're really, really popular, and you feel like you're not too far away, so it's, it's a little bit local for you. Um, now, this is going out on the 9th of July 2017, so again, you've got plenty of time to save up for this one. Inside cabins on this one for the 12 nights is at 2299. You've got the ocean view at 2689. But again, the family of four price is the one that's proven really, really popular, and that's coming in as a total at 6999 for a family of four. Which again, when you're thinking it's 12 nights, that's a long time to have all your food, all your entertainment, to have your, your little ones uh, entertained in such wonderful style. With the Disney experience that we've talked about before. Itinerary wise, uh, let's have a look. So we're starting from Dover. Remember, because you are sailing out of the UK and back to the UK, you can take as much luggage as you want. And that's really handy, particularly when you've got a family. And then you're hopping over the channel to the Havre, chance to head out to Paris, where you think your beaches or explore the lovely medieval town of Honfleur. Then, from there, you're heading over to St. Peter's Port, which is the island of Guernsey. You love love it. Station. One of the prettiest harbours uh, in the world. Then you've got a day at sea before you hit Dublin, that graceful city that sits on the River Liffey. And then you've got loads of stuff to do in Dublin. Mm. So again, you've got a chance to go to the Guinness factory if you wanted to. You go down to Grafton Street, go down into Temple Bar, Book of Curls, still one of the best destinations in Europe. Right. Then we're going from there through to Liverpool. Um, incredible city. In fact, there's a lot of regeneration going on there for this wonderful new cruise bottle they're bringing in. Uh, then you go to Greenock, which is your chance to uh, explore Glasgow. Uh, incredible opportunity. Then a sea day before we hit Kirkwall. Um, now this is very exciting because it's in the Orkney Isles. The Orkney so Isles. right up there, I definitely recommend going over to the Neolithic village of the Scarra Bray, Scarra which is Bray. very, very famous there. You've got also the Standing Stones as well, which is very interesting. If you like your history, Kirkwall is very, very Or your bird spotting, thing. because there's loads of puffins and other uh, beautiful birds that you can spot on the huge coastal cliffs. You can. Then uh, you're coming again back into mainland Scotland, Invergordon. And this is your gateway to the Highlands. Um, it's also your gateway to maybe go searching for Loch Ness. Loch Ness, they've got the Loch Ness Centre there as well. You can actually go down onto the Loch as Do well. Do you believe so. in Nessie? Mm, I've been there for you, I've never seen it. Oh, I, I believe, because it goes down like that. You've also got the Glamorangi. You've got thing. the Glamorangi uh, distillery there as well. So again, if you want to pop down there. Back to booze. Good, good for presents as well to take home. And Cordor Castle, let me try and raise the level here, of course, is where they, where they set Macbeth. Okay, that's good. Then uh, from Invergordon, finally back back to the uh, to, to, to England per se, Newcastle, uh, that jewel of the northeast. Great chance to explore the time uh, and the wonderful history again of that incredible city. Before you then head day at sea and back to Dover. Well, the good thing with this one, as I say, you look at the ports of call. A lot of them you probably haven't been to before, so this takes them all in. And as I said, you know, you've got a bit of time on the ship, but you've got great destinations there as well to make four days out. Absolutely. So this is uh, heading out in uh, 2017 on the 9th of July 2017. Inside cabins 2299, ocean view at 2689, or that family of four price for 6999, 12 nights on Disney Magic. If you'd like more information, then click here and uh, it will take you through to 
all the different things we can offer you. And also, of course, we can give you information about other Disney cruises, other destinations, if you want to go somewhere even hotter. Yeah. Um, and again, if, if, if these two cruises aren't you, you don't fancy Disney, we've got cruises from one day all the way around the world, taking you to the seven continents, all different price ranges as well, working with all the different cruise companies. This is well. it, and if you are watching this, you're new to cruising, and you think, well, you know, kind of maybe, well, that, that's a little bit more than I can maybe afford for a family holiday. Um, this is a very specific Disney product. There are loads of other cruise lines that offer very good, good value family holidays. You know, just click here, uh, and that will take you through to some more information about some, some other uh, family cruise options. Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment. Tell us what you love about Disney. Tell us about your favourite Disney me uh, memory. Uh, let us know what you'd name one of the two new Disney ships. And thank you very much for watching. From myself and Han Solo, also known as the Disney Princess, we bid you good morrow. Cheers, guys. Nice.